Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Cap at Home and Gold Detroit. My name is Miss Allie and today we're going to be making these really awesome uh, little fish out of these little fishies out of uh, plastic water bottles. We're going to learn about Earth Day which is coming up this week um, and we're going to use recycled materials to be able to make a really cool art project with just a few materials. So I'm going to switch over to my artboard so we can get started on this really awesome Earth Day themed art project. So first, let me show you what you could possibly do with your fish. I have mine actually set up. I'm going to switch my angle here. I have mine actually set up here. Um, and I actually have tied a few of my fish um, onto a stick as well as using a few bottle caps. And so this way I could hang it up on the wall um, as a tapestry or hang it up outside if I wanted. So we are going to make, like I said, these awesome fish. Let me just adjust my camera. All right. Okay. So really awesome Earth Day project. So, first of all, before we get started, um, I want to just take a second um, to give a shout out to our sponsors at the Community, Educa um, Community Education Commission of the City of Detroit, as well as General Motors and Gold Detroit and the College for Creative Studies, um, who help us to keep offering these free online art tutorials every week. Um, and so thank you again for joining me live this Tuesday. And like I said, we are going to be doing a super fun project today, all about Earth Day. So what we are going to need are a few plastic water bottles, one or two, if you um, got a few, that would be good, empty ones. We're also going to need some scissors, some tape, um, some sort of uh, tape glue or uh, stapler is going to be helpful. Um, and we're going to need something to um, actually decorate our bottles with. So if you have um, some permanent markers or acrylic paint or paint markers, anything like that. Um, and then some optional decorating materials such as uh, feathers um, or even tissue paper or scraps of paper. I have a few of those and I'll show you what we need those for when we get there. Um, but first of all, I just want to start off with talking about Earth Day. And Earth Day is a really important day because it is um, celebrated annually on April 22nd, which is this Thursday. And it's a day where um, we celebrate the Earth and we take, a, we take some time to really think about, you know, how we live on the Earth and the mark that we make and if there's improvements or things we can do better. So one of those things, one of the best things to do, reduce, reuse, and recycle so if you are some people who use plastic bottles, then this is a great way, instead of throwing them away, um, to actually repurpose or reuse them into something um, really cool, make an art project out of it. So, like I said, we are going to take celebrating Earth Day to a whole new level. We are going to take some plastic bottles. So first thing you want to do is take your plastic bottle. And this one, they're pretty empty. Um, and I tried to, like, let them sit out so they'd kind of dry out a little bit. If there's still a little bit of water, like a tiny drops of them, that's okay. And if you didn't drink the water, you will want to sanitize it. And then you want to take the label off if you still have a label on it. And um, it really doesn't matter what type of um, what type of water bottle you use. You can use the, even the smaller ones too. That's fine. And I have my waste basket next to me that I was just tossing some things into. So we have our water bottle. Then we want to, the next step, we want to about halfway down. In this water bottle, you can see there's kind of a dent. About halfway down, we want to squish this part. So the bottom part is squished and the top part is puffy. Um, if this part gets squished a little bit, it's okay. You can usually kind of go like that or put your fingers in it to puff it out again. And you're going to cut about, um, I don't know, about an inch up. You want to cut this bottom part off. So I usually cut about there. And I just, you don't have to draw that line. I just drew that line just to show you about where we're cutting. And since um, plastic water bottles are pretty thin plastic, they're pretty easy to cut. They cut right off. Um, again, if they're, you know you have a little droplets of water, that's okay. And I kind of re-squished that, re that bottom part. And this part we're not going to need, so I just set that aside. So at this point, 
we have part of our fish. Oh, and another important thing, make sure you take the bottle cap off before you squish it, otherwise it is not going to go down. <laughs> um, so, you can either leave it like this and have more of a flat fish, or what I like to do is do add some sort of a little triangle cuts on the top and bottom part in between where like the body of the fish and the top of the fish and the tail are. So it's on the top and the bottom. And I just kind of adding some cuts. Now you can leave it. Um, you can leave it like flat. You don't have to add these cuts, but you can if you want. And again, it's pretty thin plastic, so it'll cut off pretty easily. And let me just do. There we go. Again, I have those little scraps. I'm going to set those aside. So I have something that looks more like this. Um, now, like I said, you can, if you want to squish this again, you can just leave it flat. If you want this to be your fish and maybe you even want to tape that side part, that's fine too. But I like, I kind of like this cut. So what I like to do is take, oh, throw my tape everywhere. I like to take a piece of tape and cover those sides so they're not sharp. Um, and that way it kind of helps to squish this part down a little bit. And I just sort of add, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it kind of helps keep it squished, the bottom part. Um, if you don't have clear tape, the cool thing is that we're going to be covering the plastic. So if you don't have clear tape, it's okay because we're going to be covering it anyway. So see how that already kind of, and this one kind of has a curve, so that I'm cool with that. So it already kind of flattened that out a little bit more, so that's nice. So the next thing you want to do is actually start decorating. So whether you have this sort of design or this sort of design, putting my scraps away to the side here, you actually want to just start coloring and decorating. Now there's a couple things you can decorate with. So you can use some um, permanent markers. You can also use some paint markers. Um, if you have acrylic paint, you could use that. Or if you only have um, washable markers, you can color them and then spray them with um, hairspray and that kind of solidifies the that solidifies that ink on there and so what I like to do is just start coloring I like using paint markers because I think the color is a little more vibrant and whatever you're doing make sure you're um, coloring or decorating on a um, flat or on a surface that it doesn't matter if you get dirty so I have my sort of just this paper that I have, this board that I work on top of my table. So if I get paint on it or glue or whatever, it's okay. And remember, Earth Day, you know, it's all about, you know, with thinking about the Earth. So I like to think about, I like to make really um, bright fish. And I like to think maybe in the, the, the tropics or the rainforest or... Um, you know, when we're on the coral reef, maybe we have some really bright colored fish. And these would be where my fish would be. And I like doing this project, too, because you can even ask, like, neighbors or even at your school, like, your friends to um, save water bottles. And so that way, um, you know, you're encouraging people not to throw them away, throw them away but also, you know, s turn them into a project that everyone can do. And let's say a bunch of you get together and decorate them. Um, if you all make one and there's five of you, then you could have five fish that you could put together at the end. And you can do some sort of designs on here. You could even look up some like tropical fish to get some cool colors or designs. I like to do sort of some silly patterns on here. You know, something simple. I always like to do sort of polka dots at the top. I think that's a good look. And the cool thing is it's kind of clear so you sort of see through it. Again, you can use any colors that you want. They don't even really have to be fish colors. It can be whatever you want them to be. Maybe you have um, all different types of purples and pinks or maybe it's all cool colors. 
or all warm colors. Maybe you make a rainbow fish. So when you get it totally covered, so while this part's going to take the longest, the time that it covers. Now, if you're using acrylic paint, you want to make sure you color or decorate one side first before going on to the other side. So you want to, when it's totally covered, you want to let it dry. So like sometimes I like to like, if I can get it to balance, I like to stick it up, something like that. And I'll set that aside and I'm going to jump to this one and show you what our finishing steps are. So for this one, I have totally covered and decorated it all the way around. I have it just the way I like it and I use some um, markers and some um paint on here and I you can't even see the plastic tape anymore I've totally covered it so now there's a couple things we can do to finish it up so I always like to add an eye and I um you can either add the eye on both sides or one side this is the top of the circle um the top of the head so I always like to add um I um like to add ones of like kind of colors so I've just took, picked up this blue Let's say that's going to go there. Now you can paint your eye on here. You can draw it on there. You can use cut paper. Um, you can also, if you have googly eyes, you could add your eyes on there like that. You can even add, let's say, I just wanted to add a little black dot there. Just like that, so it really looks like a fish eye. And then if you use paint, you can always blow on it, make it dry faster. Now, we can leave it as is. This could be done. You could add other details like little glitter if you wanted on there or stickers. Um, I went over and added some other details like polka dots on top of some of the colors and some circles. So I have some different patterns on here. You can see this is done or... See, sometimes that happens, and I can just go like that while it's still wet and pick that right up. Again, benefit of working on something. And you can always let it dry and fix it and go over it later. And I'm actually just going to work with that dark circle. Okay, so... I'm going to leave that and let that dry, that part. Um, and another thing you can do is actually add some fun tails. So if you actually look at my example up here, I have some pretty funky looking fish. And one thing that we can do is actually take some scraps or things such as, I'm going to move this over, such as some feathers and um, some like, I like tissue paper or even scrap paper. And we can actually add that right on the edge here. So what I maybe would like to do, like maybe let's say I grab, I like these colors. Maybe I do something like this. I put them together. I put them right on the edge of my um, fish of the tail up here. And I left this part open for this reason. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm actually just going to put a staple in there. And then I could keep adding. I found these um, really cool, like, iridescent-looking papers. I'm going to add one of those in there. Uh, maybe even... I just had these feathers I got from the dollar store, and I wanted to use them for something. So, uh, why not? Now, teal, like, if you ever look at a fish, fish have totally different tails, and they all have different types of fins and stuff. Um, sometimes everything likes to stick together. There we go. So you can make it different shapes. You could cut out just like two long pieces of something and have them sort of like that. You could um, put them, I also found this, um, I have this like sparkly, I have lots of weird tissue paper, so I like using scraps of it for this, so just cutting small pieces. You know, like this, some of them have like patterns. This one has some like gold flakes on it. Um, and you know, these are just small pieces. You can cut them or rip them any way that you want. Yeah, I do something like that. And again, I'm just stapling it. You can also glue or tape these on here too. Just kind of a quick way to get them together. And then you could like take your, like if you wanted to kind of trim some of your paper, 
and just kind of make it a little bit more open. So you have a beautiful fishy. So this could be done. I love this. I love how it works. You can also make it your own. You know, you can make your own kind of tail or maybe you add some beads on here, or pom poms or however you want to do it. Make it your own. So when you get to this point, you can be done and say, okay, I have an awesome singular fish or you could do what I did and look at our, my hanging thing. I took a stick um, just a stick from outside, and I took some fishing line. You can also do string or wire, and I just kind of started tying it on to the top of the stick, and then I added some more, like, um, I added some more of these bottle tops on top because, like, you know, you have a lot of these once you're using those fish, and I just sort of started tying them up, and I liked how um, it started to... Like I had this one hanging up higher than this one. So I might add this one over here. And I'm going to tie this one on. And it's simply, I take something like, ooh, I pushed it a little too far. I take something um, like my, my string. I'm going to take my string and I'm going to wrap it around this edge. And I can go ahead and tie it on. So like I said, you can do one singular fish or you can... Um, you can make multiple fish. And the kind of cool part about doing stuff like polka dots and stuff, you can kind of see through the side. So that is how you take simple water bottles, color, cut them, color them, and decorate them to make these really cool looking fish. And again, like I said, you can turn them into these um, hanging displays, like I showed you just a second ago. So that is how you make these fabulous fish. Um, Thank you for joining me again today. My name is Miss Allie, and we made we talked about Earth Day and how we can use recycled materials like plastic bottles and turn them into things like beautiful artwork. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I look forward to catching you guys next week. If you happen to make this project and you'd love to share it with us, you can go ahead and post your photo in the comments of this video. Or you can send it to the email tagged in this video as well. I'd love to see what you guys made. Good luck, happy art making, and happy Earth Day, and I will see you guys soon. Tune in next Tuesday for another Cap at Home and Gold Detroit episode of um, our art tutorials, and tomorrow and Thursday for more projects as well. So see you next time. Thanks for joining me again.